Okay, everybody, welcome back to Yazi Family Vlog. Today, <clears throat> Sue wants to do meatloaf. And I figure I try it this way. The GoPro strapped to me and just I don't know how long the video will be but I might end up cutting it down just because of the cooking process that's just what we deal with in the Aussie household. So this is kind of like a, I guess how I would just prepare our meals um, without doing a video <clears throat> or anything. Just do the video. Our kitchen light is still out, so I'm trying to use this. I'm trying to give it more light. Um, it'd be easier filming with a GoPro. Not GoPro. But the iPhone. Maybe it'd be easier filming with the iPhone. Because it's good in low light. GoPro is not so much good in the, in the low light. But hopefully it does help. If not, then I'm sorry. Peel some of these for um, mashed potatoes. These potatoes are, we had them for a while. We've just been trying to use it up. I'm surprised it's not bad yet. Uh, I don't have a potato peeler. We had one before, but I don't know what happened to it. I'm just doing it the old school way. Uh, I gotta keep in mind that <clears throat> it's only three of us for dinner. I'm not cooking for a family of 12 or anything. Which I tend to do. Some days I don't cook as much and uh, everyone kind of wants more. Some days I cook a lot. Nobody's hungry for leftovers. But I'm sure today's dinner everyone will, will love it. Kind of requested by them. I don't know if I should keep going. <sighs> I'm not trying to breathe hard. I don't know if the GoPro will catch it. I just feel nervous, out of breath, because the GoPro is like strapped right to my chest. 
I don't want to be all quiet and you guys is here. <sighs> all tired from cutting the skin off the potatoes. So you can tell, look. You can tell. Sometimes we just do simple dinners. Or a way to go all out. But this would just be dinner like out of the blue. No filming, no recording. And just film. This is how I would normally cook the guess. Sometimes I like to leave the skin on the potato. On some of them, not all of them. For mashed potatoes. But our potatoes are growing um, toenails. That's why I decided to cut off all the skin. Then I just kind of like to put them up like this. When I do potato, mashed potato. Waiting for a uh, good friend of mine to get a hold of me. Got a hold of um, see through Instagram. Said he's in town today, so I asked him if he can stop by. <clears throat> Put that in the back burner. I think that's the hottest burner we have. Sometimes um, I'll do chicken broth in half water for the mashed potatoes if I do it that way. Hmm. I wonder what this knife was used for. I still haven't put the dishes away. Using this one for meatloaf. It's 80%, so let's get a shrink. Gonna cook down. Uh, trying to find all my. I thought I prepped everything. I guess I didn't. Oh, let's try here. Okay, I feel weird showing you guys my stomach. Like, I'm talking to my stomach. 
guys, you guys can't see what I'm trying to get here. As far as seasonings. W. Or shush, 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 shush. Season here. You guys hear Loki? You guys hear Loki? You're not on camera and Loki goes crazy. Loki goes crazy. I don't know how everyone preps their meatloaf, but there's no right way, wrong way. People add what they want, people do what they want. It's low key. When I'm not doing a video, I usually don't measure. Just cooking on my own. Nobody probably knows I'm recording, but I'm recording. So like I was telling you, this is going to shrink. Plus, leftovers is the best. one hand Getting to take that off. Mm, I don't have a spoon in there. the trash yet but <clears throat> always like to cook with the empty trash can
a lot of people, not a lot of people, but other people, they add um, mixed vegetables in here too. I've had it that way before. People throw in bag of mixed vegetables. Or canned corn. Uh, I've even seen somewhere they throw in a uh, tomatoes, kind of like canned tomatoes, but without the juice, maybe. Some people. Use real breadcrumbs. This is just how I've been doing mine. So that's it. Let me put the mix right here. Mm. Get this one going. Just gonna have it with um, can corn. We got some rolls right here. Uh, gonna make some gravy here. We got some salad, so <clears throat> we're thinking of eating it with some salad. But uh, a lot of everything I used to cook scratch. A lot of it used to be scratch, but um, just with the cost of food, everything has gone up sometimes. <clears throat> we don't do scratch all the way, but I always do it for these ones here. No matter what, I can't do the powder. Hey! Get away! Oh no. I swear, kids. No, no, no. No, don't touch it. Don't do that. how native we are we keep our pans in our oven that's my wok right there <clears throat> we keep these in our oven and then these are our prizes right here all my cast irons trees and I'm gonna go 
And then I just like to form it, shape. Sometimes I always want to put green chili in it for green chili meatloaf. And you know, just because you live in New Mexico, it's almost like green chili everything. But the video is our baby. I usually don't put ketchup on it until towards the end. Should be good right here. I don't know if I have foil. If I have foil, I'll cover it just to cook it faster. And then... I'll cover it the last few minutes. So to have it covered just to cook it faster. Uh, that's pretty much it for now. As soon as this one's done, I'll turn the camera back on. Okay, I'll turn the point to my stomach. <clears throat> turn this one back on just to show you guys how I usually mix that prepare that and then uh we'll wash up these dishes right here put those dishes away and take out that trash and then give me a little more room to cook and prep right here Loki you're going back in grandma's room go <sighs> Bye. Bye, what time is it Uh, I forgot what time I put in the meatloaf. I'll just say 6.10. No, I'll say 6 o'clock. Yeah, 6.10. Tato still got a long ways to go. So we'll be back when these ones are ready, then we'll start prepping that one. Potatoes are done. Potatoes are done. What the hell? You guys okay?
what's left of this. Save the container and get in trouble again. <clears throat> well, not get in trouble. Why are you saving containers? do that. Some of that. Uh, I like to use a lot of um, dry ingredients just because it lasts longer for me. This one here is chopped chives. Even though you fresh ingredients taste a lot better, <clears throat> you guys can taste the difference if it was fresh. Black pepper. Two percent. Every time I think of um, low-fat milk, I think of Napoleon Dynamite. If you guys know what I mean. What does my uncle say? If you know, you know. don't really like to mash it all make it creamy kind of like to leave it clumpy just like that and then Mm. Mm. That is good. Perfect. Don't need the milk no more. Move Nala. Woo. Just take a look at it. It's cooking. Cooking, it's cooking. The only thing I need left. Uh, this one's done. I usually don't put a lid on it, I just leave it the way it is. Some dinner gravy in the corn. And then that will be until we are just about done with. with um, meatloaf. I usually like to wash dishes as I cook. Water cooled down a lot. Though. I usually like the hot water. This 
is one of the best sponges you can use. I don't remember if they call that the mommy sponge or whatever, the sister sponge. That's a good sponge. It's been about 30 minutes since this has been cooking. <clears throat> you know, I was telling you guys it was going to shrink, and it did shrink. You know what? You should just do ketchup, nothing too fancy. Just about done. So what do I have right here? I got this. See that far? We used to like using the frozen frozen corn, but we fell in love with the super sweet. 
and we've been using it ever since then. <laughs> I like to cook everything on high heat. I'm using this just so I don't scratch up the pot here. KFC had the uh, best brown gravy ever. One time we had a KFC chicken again. It wasn't the same. So I just did some garlic salt, black pepper. That's it. <laughs> Juices, just butter, corn. If I had garlic powder or onion powder, I would have added those, but I do not have those. So I just did a bit of paprika, and parsley. Turn off the oven. Take that out. Switch hands. You guys always be careful when you mess with the uh, Anything hot, hot oil. This stuff will burn your skin off. Paper plates because we like using paper plates. Corn. He loves the corn. I said everybody loves corn.
the bag you just does our dishes but sometimes I just like to help her out instead of leaving piles and piles of dishes for her. Plus I don't like cooking that way. I don't just don't like cooking and just leaving dishes piled up for a person whoever's doing chores. They just can't cook that way. But I'm not great at putting them away though. I always play Tetris. I just say as long as you're washed, it's okay. I don't know if she'll eat a couple of slices. I usually like eating the the end part of a meatloaf. I don't know if some of you guys are like that. Just cut this up in case. Anybody want seconds? Time to eat, guys. That's my cowbell. Ding, 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 ding. It's time to eat. How do you like it? Okay. Don't cover yourself. How do you like it? Good. What do you think? Like seven. <laughs> she loves meat though. She got happy when she found out. This is what her dinner looks like sometimes when you don't vlog. <clears throat> Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, we have the dinner rolls. I got the yellow peppers, salad. She's got hers. Hers looks good too. But she's the one that mentioned this for dinner because I wanted to make something for dinner. And that's it. Somebody was saying they made meatloaf. Uh, shorty. Oh yeah.
Shorty said he was making meatloaf before he was going to work. Mm-hmm. He's telling him about it. So we're going to enjoy your dinner now. Thank you guys for watching this little point of view cam. We hope you guys are eating good too. Maybe we'll do more of these type of videos. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.